In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer photos and videos from your USB flash drive directly into your camera roll here on your iPhone or your iPad. So let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today, where my goal is to help you create, record and release your best music. So if that's the sort of thing you're into, consider subscribing. In this one, I'm answering a question I've been asked by a few folks, and that is if we want to bring our video files or our photos from a USB drive directly into our camera roll so that we can use them in iMovie or any other app, how do we do it? Well, it's pretty simple, but there's a few steps involved you need to know. So let's jump in and take a look. Now the gear I've got set up here might look a little bit elaborate, but all you really need is a USB flash drive, a lightning to USB 3 adapter with the additional lightning port and a lightning to USB cable. And I show you how to do that in a previous video that will be linked up the top there. But what I've got set up here is also a powered USB hub and a portable battery. So this is the Tendac USB 3 hub and the Romos OM10 portable battery. And I've reviewed those and have links to those down in the description as well as where you can pick up one of the light to USB 3 adapters, which you will need to actually get files transferred from your USB drive into your iPhone or iPad. And the reason that I have my powered USB hub or you need a lightning cable here to power up your adapter is that you won't get enough power, unfortunately. I've tried a bunch of different USB drives and they don't actually provide enough power just being plugged straight in without the additional power. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on the USB port here and then plug in my USB flash drive. And what I wanna do is I'm going to switch over here and go into my files app here. And what we'll notice here is down the bottom here, this will pop up the about time, which is the name of this particular USB flash drive. And here are some files that I have stored on this flash drive. Now, what I wanna do is actually transfer some videos and photos directly over to my camera roll. So let's show you how we do that now. So our process here now is quite simple. If we want to transfer a file, let's say we wanna transfer this video file here. What we need to do is tap on select in the top right corner like that, and then tap on the actual file file or files that we want to share. Now down the bottom here, instead of using move or copy that we normally would, what we're actually gonna do is use share because we don't wanna copy these to somewhere else in our files structure. We actually wanna share them over to our photos or our camera roll. So we'll tap on share and that is going to bring up our new share sheet here in iOS 13. And here we go, we have the option to send a message to someone directly with this file. We then have all of our apps across the middle here that we can use, but if we scroll down, this is the one we want, just save video. So we're gonna tap on save video, and it's going to go away and save that to our camera roll. So that's easy and that is done. We're, in fact, it's already done. So what we can now do, is let's say we wanted to copy some photos. Well, again, we can select and we can select, say this image here, do the same thing, share it across like that. What if you've got a whole fo fo folder, a photo of folders, a folder of photos, and you wanna share that? Well, that is a little bit more difficult because we can't actually share. We can move the folder, but we can't share a whole folder. So unfortunately you will have to, if we hit done on that, you will have to go into the folder and then select all of the photos from here. But it's pretty simple because all we need to do is tap on select in the top right corner and then up here on the top left, we've got select all. So we're going to tap select all, and that selects all six of these photos. And now we are ready to share. So now again, we tap on share in the bottom left corner. We're going to bring up our share sheet. This time, instead of saving one image or one video, it's going to have six images here. So we'll tap on that one to save it and off it goes. It saves that into our photos. Now you would have seen there that under our share sheet, we've also got other options that you can explore there, like adding to a shared album as well. So that's another cool option if you want to share it, not just with yourself, but with other people as part of a shared album. But we just want to send it to our camera roll. So that's what we've done there. Let's switch apps now back over to photos and make sure that these have all dropped in. Yes, there they are. And you can see there I'd already tested and done it one time. And now I've got a second copy of all of those photos there, which is very cool. Now, what you might be asking here, while we're here, why don't I show you how we can copy back to our USB drive? So say we had a couple of photos here that we want to send to our flash drive. All we need to do is tap on select in the top right corner. And let's say we want these couple of stylish photos here like that. Then all we need to do is in the top left is again, go to our share sheet. So anytime you see that little box with an arrow, that's your share sheet. And again, we can now do whatever we want to do with this. We've got two photos selected there. Did we select two? I thought we selected more. Uh, we've got three photos selected, I thought. Let's try it again. Three photos selected. 
Yeah, there we go. Now it's got three. Not quite sure what happened there. So there's our three photos selected. Now we can come down again and we can actually go save to file. So we can do the reverse of this. We can add them to an album here in our photos, but we want to save them back to files. So we'll tap on save to files and now we can save them anywhere within our file structure, including our USB flash drive that we have down the bottom here. So that's very cool. We'll come in here. We'll go to photos. Let's just say, in fact, let's just say we wanted a new one. We can create a new folder by tapping on the top here and then we can call it whatever we want. I don't have my keyboard handy, so I'm going to do untitled folder for now. And then we hit save. And there you go. It is going to save those out. The little spinny icon in the top right corner. Unfortunately, you don't get a progress bar. Apple, we would love a progress bar with our transfers, but that's now done. So if we switch back to our files app and take a look in here, what we can now do is take a look in at the about time and we will have this new folder here. And if we tap on that one, there they are. And now we can go ahead and unplug our USB flash drive and take that and plug it in wherever we want. Those photos are now backed up there. So there you go. That that is how we can transfer both to our camera roll and our photos app from a USB flash drive and then back again. And also a little bit about the setup here. There are two more videos all about using USB drives with your iPhone or iPad link down below. You can subscribe by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you on the next video.